Hi everybody, this is David from Newton Girls Who Code. In this video, we're going to walk through how to create an HTML page using PyCharm. We'll start by checking out a project from version control, adding a new HTML file, putting some content in, and then layering on some structure using HTML elements, that's hypertext markup language. Finally, we'll commit our code and push it back up to GitHub. In the next video, we'll talk about how to make that text look pretty with different colors and fonts and sizes and so forth. Those are all called styles. So here we go. We'll begin by opening GitHub, excuse me, we'll begin by opening PyCharm. So I click it, it will start up and offer me how to open my project. And I want to check one out from version control <coughs> so that uh, I can save a copy of it later. So I'll open from GitHub. I'm an active GitHub user, so I'll choose the repository I want. Today I'll put this in examples. It asks me, do I want to open that directory? I'll say yes. And here we go. So I will find the directory where I want my code to go. And I'll go up here to the file menu and say new file. And I'll take a new HTML file. And when I do that, I guess it asks me for a name. I will write about hippos, because I like hippos. When I do that, it asks, do I want to start paying attention to this in Git? My answer is yes. And now it gives me a file called hippos.html. I'll make it a little bigger for us all to see. And it has already filled in a bunch of uh, boilerplate, we call this, for me, that has the beginning structure of an HTML document with its head and its body. And I can leave all that in place. It's highlighted here the title for me. So I will delete that and say, uh, my title is hippos, because I'm excited about hippos. OK, so let's see, what shall I write here? Um, well, I'm going to write a poem. So I'm going to start by adding some content. Uh, lots of people have a favorite poem. My favorite poem is about hippos. This is how it goes. I painted my hippos orange and blue. You had a hippo. Wouldn't you too? So that's my page, that's my poem, and now I can go over to here and just by hovering over here to the right uh, it brings up this set of options and these represent the web browsers that are on my machine so I can choose this one and just click on it and it will open my page here and it's all run together you see that it just says hippo poem lots of people have a favorite poem and so forth that's exactly that's exactly, oh my goodness, where did I put it? Here we go. That's exactly this text. Uh, but of course, it has not put the line breaks where I put them or put the spacing because I haven't added any structure to my page yet. I've just put in the content here. So if I want to put in structure, I need to use HTML tags. So I'll put in some tags. Uh, I'll start this with the header tag. So h1 says a first level header. And so I bracket h hippo poem with my first level header. And now, all of a sudden, it knows to display hippo poem as big and bold and up top. What other structure would I like? Well, this is a paragraph. And it goes all the way up to here. So I'll put a start paragraph tag and an end paragraph tag. And now it knows that the paragraph has ended, so it goes to the next line. But of course, I want a poem here. So I'll put in a line break. And the curious thing about line breaks is that they are called self-closing tags. I don't need to uh, put a matching close line break here. It's just a standalone one-piece tag. And again, now I've got my poem set up a bit nicely. 
So what else do I want to say about uh, hippos? I'll make another header called books about hippos. And I'll call this a level one header as well. Level two, three, and four headers would be a bit smaller. They're used for subparts if I had additional poems. So let's say, I will say um, there are many books about hippos. Here are some, uh, but not the hippopotamus. By Sandra Boynton. And here's another. Hippos go berserk, which is also by Sandra Boynton. Okay, so I now have my list, but if I look at that in the web page, I see I have my headers, but I don't have anything that shows this is a list. It's just, again, all strung together. So to give the structure, I will say this is a list, and I don't really care about the order, so it's an unordered list. UL stands for unordered list, and notice it automatically threw in this close tag for me, but I don't want it there. I want it down here, so I hit less than and the slash key, and it automatically closes it for me. So there we go. But just because I've said it's a list, it doesn't yet know the structure of which are the items. Is this a two-item list or a four-item list? Is but not the hippopotamus, the first item, and by Sandra Boynton, the second. So we need to make that clear by using the list item tag. So there's start list item, and again, end list item. And again, I'll do a start and an end. And I'll tab this in. So there we go. Now I have my list, and we'll look at how it appears here. Ah. Lovely. So now we have the structure of the list. And one last thing we'll do, we'll add a link because uh, people might want to know about hippos. So I will uh, use the anchor tag, that's the A, and my anchor will be around the word hippos. And what happens on this anchor? This is an anchor to another page. So I will reference another page. So. Let's find our hippos page. Lovely. So this is a page about hippos. So I will take it and paste its address right here. So this is the URL of the page it will go to. And now, uh, with this code, notice I have a hyperlink here. And if I click on this link, it takes me to the hippopotamus page. Wonderful. Well, I feel like I've gotten enough out of my uh, HTML page here, so the last thing for me to do is upload it to GitHub. So I go here under version control, and you'll see it shows hippos exists. This file is here, so I will uh, click on it and do commit changes. I could also use this icon over here to commit the changes, and it will ask me for a message. and. Uh, I'll say first draft of my page about hippos. And I'm ready to commit and push. It gives me one last chance to review what I'm doing, and I say yes, I wish to push this. I've already given it my password and username to GitHub, so I don't need to do that again. But you may find it asks you once more. And now I'm done. And again, to see it, I simply click in this window, hover anywhere, and it will offer me the choice of browsers to view it in. I'll view it here. So now we're done. In our next video, we'll talk about how to make this look more pretty with colors, fonts, and sizes. See you next time.